Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Wright. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, this is my continuing series of what does Star Wars mean to you, and I want to feature Flipped Out. His name is Chris, and he works in a casino, from what I gather. And that's why I wanted to feature him, because in this series, I like to tell you a little bit about the person. Not just have somebody come on screen with a channel and tell you what they think about Star Wars. I like to give the person's background a little bit, so I think that just makes it the more interesting. So, Chris has been helping me network, doing a lot of great things behind the scenes, and, you know, I gotta give him a big shout out and a thanks for that, and of course I'll link his channel below, he's got some great stuff, great content you guys could check out. And the way Chris filmed this video, he kinda did a nice little outro, so I don't have to do that outro thing, I'm just gonna end my part here, and I'm gonna let Chris take it away. Hello! Hope you're having a wonderful night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. Salute to EH. Thank you, Entertainment Hacker, for having me on. It's flipped out here. Uh, <laughs> what is it that uh, What is it that Star Wars meant to me? So, let us begin. Star Wars meant to me friendship. Uh, it meant friendship because the first time I ever heard about Star Wars, I was on the playground in preschool. I was four and a half-ish, uh, maybe four and three quarters, whatever. By the time I actually saw it, I was five years old. But um, I remember being in that line, and oh my God, whew, I was pissy. I remember sitting on my dad's shoulders, lying on the ground in the sunlight. I was pissy. But when I went into that theater, um, wow. Wow. <laughs> It was it was an epic experience. What an absolute breathtaking experience it was for a five-year-old boy. And going back to that playground, uh, Star Wars was... It was just Star Wars. There was a, a, no A New Hope or anything. It was just Star Wars. And it was... It meant to me, it meant culture. Uh, my first dose of culture and friendship. I had no difference between, in my, in my mind, in my mind's eye, I had no difference between men and women or, or uh, aliens or, you know, Mexican or black or race of any kind or other country of origin. None of that meant anything to me. How could it? I was just a little, you know, I was a wee lad. <laughs> Who would know? I wouldn't know that. But, so yeah, uh... I, I remember loving the aliens and, and loving the interesting differences between the people. There was a strong woman, Princess Leia. There was a strong guy. Uh, <laughs> I guess on Solo. Luke was kind of a wiener, but he ended up being pretty cool. Like, he's like, you know, oh, it's a toaster station to pick up power converters. But then by the end of it, he's like blasting the Death Star, you know. It was very, very impressive. Um... A strong man, I, I think I associated with Obi-Wan Kenobi more than anything. He was wise and he was a wizard, you know. I, what else do you call him? A wizard. And uh, going back to the playground after the movie, where all the kids had the toys, and by now I had toys. We were like trading them and messing with them. And funny how at the end of the day I always ended up with different toys. <laughs> That's, I'm not sure. I think it pissed me off once or twice. And other times I was like, hell yeah, you know. <laughs> but it was still a great experience. Uh, I got culture. I got friendship. Uh, I learned what action movies are. I learned what sci-fi was. I'm not quite sure I learned as much as I uh, absorbed it. I, I completely just absorbed what those things are. Um, and Star Wars moved on. It went to The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I was going through some tough uh, situations in my life when Empire Strikes Back. I know I was still young, granted, but I was going through some interesting moments, and it really felt like I was coming back home. You know, uh, I was, was singling uh, myself. I was centering myself. That's the word, center. I centered myself. I found balance. I found balance. And... Uh, that lasted, and it really did. Somehow, I'm not quite sure how, maybe fate, maybe destiny, but my own life seemed to balance out right after that. It's a scary thing looking back, because it's almost as if this movie has taken control of a large portion of my life. And I don't think I'm alone here. 
and that's a good thing, I think, for all of us. Moving on to Return of the Jedi. Uh, Return of the Jedi came out, uh, and it meant something to me. What that thing is, is a finale. Part of the journey is the end. And I know that's very cliche, <laughs> but it's true. It's true. Part of the journey is the end, and the end of this journey was fan-fucking-tastic. It actually brought everything together properly. I mean, looking back as an older person, you know, uh, I'm, I'm no longer a child. Uh, and even at this point, I was approaching my, my, early, my early teens. I was 10 years old. In 83, I was 10 years old. So, I was going on 11, but it doesn't matter. I'm approaching my early teens, and this was a greater understanding of beginnings, middles, and ends. And in my life, it, it was a certain part of my life was coming to an end, but there was a new beginning too. And so, that really coalesced with the culture and the, the friendship and the, the learning of acceptance. And it became a really important life lesson. So Star Wars means so much more to me than just a great movie. Um, gosh, I wish the Force were real. I'm sure all of us do. So that's what Star Wars means to me. Thank you for watching Entertainment Hacker and myself, Flipped Out. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below. Thank you, guys.